pave the way for growth, we needed to speak to a broader and aspirational base of clients, which probably with jewelry would come much, much later. And so we have added products at a much lower price point as you would ever dream for a piece of jewelry. At the end of the 90s, the company had jewelry, watches, accessories and fragrances. And then we, we thought about uh, how can we interact uh, in a more intimate way with our customers. And uh, this idea of doing a very small collection of ultra-luxury hotels came about. I was in a taxi and an artist who's a friend of mine gave me a call and said, you have to see this place. So I turned the taxi around and it was love at first sight. The area used to be monasteries and cloisters and adjacent to our garden is the Botanical Gardens in Milan, which is a hidden gem in the, in the city. So there was a building which uh, used to be a convent, uh, part of it uh, very old from the 1600s, part of it more recent from the 1970s, and uh, we set about uh, redesigning it, completely changing its image. In London, we have a 25 meters pool that you would never expect uh, from an hotel uh, that small. So, in that way, uh, you create, I mean, a, a sequence of an expected experience which eventually will create uh, a unique emotional memory when you get out of it. There's a lot of bad history about brand extensions. If you overextend your brand, you spread it thin you go into areas where you're less credible. At the end, if you overdo it, your brand is devalued. I think the brands which are most careful have the longest future. The most frustrating thing in this project has been um, the fact of uh, finding so few locations that were appropriate. My strongest advice would be do something only if you have something to say. If you see an opportunity to do something innovative and relevant, then that's a, you know, that's a beautiful energy that will make it into a success. If you sit cold, blooded and start saying, okay, let's venture into this business and what are we gonna do? Let's copy the competitors. For me, the customer ultimately will read between the lines and, and punish you.